The God and the Baobab Tree, written by Cliff Brown, illustrated by June Julie. Once upon a time, a god lived in a beautiful green garden. The god was lonely, so he granted one tree the ability to talk and sing. He named the tree Baobab. Happily, the Baobab tree talked and sang all day long. Its songs made the god and all the plants in the garden happy. But as time went by, the baobab tree started to ask for too much. One day, it asked the soil, "Why do you give me so little nutrition?" The soil replied, "I have to give my nutrition to all the plants in the garden, not only to you." The baobab tree waved its branches around and replied, "Give me more nutrition, so I will be tall, just like the other trees." Showing his sympathy, the god said to the soil, "Please help the baobab tree grow tall and strong." The soil had to honor the god's request. The baobab tree soon grew tall. It was happy until it noticed that some trees had flowers and fruits. The baobab tree woke the soil and said, "Give me more nutrition, so I will have flowers and fruit like the other trees." The soil angrily replied, "It is not my job to grant all your wishes. Find the god and ask him." Again, the god decided to grant the baobab tree's wish. The baobab tree now had flowers and fruit, but then the baobab tree noticed that some other trees had big fruits. The baobab tree found the god, pointed at another tree, and said, "I want my fruit to grow big like that." The god sighed and then granted the baobab tree's wish. Then the baobab tree looked at its fruit and said, "I want my fruit to be even bigger and more colorful." By now the god was angry. He said, "If you don't stop asking for so many things, I will lock you up." The baobab tree said in an angry voice, "I am much too large for you to lock up." Just then, the god used his power to make the baobab tree small and locked it in a cage. Before leaving, he said to the baobab tree, "Stay inside this cage and think about what you have done." Before long, the baobab tree regretted its behavior. It said to the god, "I am so sorry that I asked for so much. I promise to grow all by myself." Then the baobab tree said to the soil and other plants, "I am so sorry that I annoyed you all. I promise to grow all by myself." The god agreed to let the baobab tree out of the cage. From that day on, the baobab tree grew strong and tall by itself, and was home to many creatures in the garden.